Man, welcome back to the 85 South Yee. Show. Yee. Yee. Man, I'm gonna cut right to the chase, man. We got one of the hardest young niggas coming up in the rap Going game. Right, right. In the trap in the trap with us today, man. 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 So, all the way from Memphis, man. Yeah. Hey man. <laughs> Shout out flow. Walk him down. Uh -oh. it, it, your nigga got hits already, man, out the gate. None other. NLE Chopper in there. Oh, Man, yes, shit, much love, man. Yes, Just doing your motherfucking yeah. thing, bro. First of all, welcome to the trap. No, for welcome sure. to the trap. Shit, what you got going we on? Got the, we just got the AC fit, so you ain't got the AC it. fit. No, I like to be hot anyway. <laughs> nigga said, I like to be hot. That that's a young that, nigga shit. Crazy. Wait till you get over 30, then you just go change. You <laughs> like, turn the air on in this motherfucker. Now, nigga. What? Nah, but you been popping your shit, been doing your shit, you dig what I'm saying? You represent for the young niggas. And can I say, hey man, first of all, you ain't no motherfucking hoe. What thing about it? That's what I been wanting to tell you. Hey, boy, you handle yours every time. And I rock with you. That's what if we ever together, I know we, I'm swinging with you. Nah, for sure. <laughs> man, it might as well go in. Tag, tag of the elephant in the room, man. First of all, man, you know, I, I hate that you had to go through that, man, dealing with these wild ass, unnecessary ass people who looking, you know, and that's the difference between, we was just having a, had an interview with Big Ticker. We was talking about, uh, you know, when, when fame was different back in the yeah. day when people didn't have access to you and everybody didn't have a camera phone where yeah. there ain't nobody just running up on you like that with no camera. And it's now everybody got a camera in line and motherfuckers say Clock knock chasing. you out and it's clear that, that didn't crazy. happen. And you slipped and motherfucker knock out, knock out. Nigga that went no goddamn <laughs> knock out, you lying motherfucker. <laughs> so, like, as a young nigga, like, how do you handle those type of people now coming up in the game with fame is the way you come up in it? I mean, shit. Best way is like to embrace it. You know what I'm saying? I don't try to avoid nothing. Like I'm the type of guy like is it is it A or B with me? So like I really just embrace it like how it was like with bro in this situation. I wasn't even gonna swing on him. I really was finna just you know what I'm saying? I squared it to him. It originally trying to like tell him like brother calm down. Get I ain't hear you. I ain't, I had my earphones and I, I ain't hear you. But when he said something about being scared. I ain't go for that. I've been light skinned my whole life. Nigga think I'm a hoe. I always had to show a nigga. Cause right. I'm light skinned. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like embracing it. I just had to embrace that. And then when bruh, he kind of, like he was finna hit me, I'm like. You got to go for what yeah, you know. Like you got to go and do what you got to do. You got these people around camera phones. And that's one thing. You ain't, you can, you ain't finna play with me on camera. <laughs> right. Facts. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but you, you got to stand on yours, though. And you definitely did you that, definitely you did. did. Definitely did. And that Chris Brown crossed the shit out you. That nigga Chris <laughs> Brown crossed the shit out you. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> he went, you ain't seen that shit? Yeah. He went behind the back on that nigga. <laughs> you don't play like that, do you? Nah, he ball. Oh, you who? Uh, I ain't yeah, that different. I really who? Me, me, Chris Brown, me, Chris, and Dirt, we about to top hoopers that rap, honestly. Y'all ain't played nobody for real. Nah, we hooping for real. Nah, but like y'all ain't played nobody for real. Who? Like who? Y'all ain't played nobody. Y'all playing rapper. Them niggas be like, man, y'all, man, y'all, dude, crazy. We went to the studio. Took a perk 30 before the games. Nigga, toes sweat. You ain't played me. Man. Now, Chris can play, but I, I done seen y'all ain't play. No, y'all niggas can ball. I done no, seen them ball. Yeah, he can ball. Been? He can ball. They be yeah. ducking on hoopers and shit. Yeah, I mean, y'all niggas can ball. But you you came up in Memphis playing ball, right? Yeah, you I was, came up in Memphis. Who, what position? Uh, point. Point. You look like you like just fouling, nigga. <laughs> 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 Game. You try to get around somebody, eh, I got him. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. Nah, I played for a little bit. I'm play yeah, sure. Yeah, I grew up hooping. God, I would have went pro if I could stay out of trouble. That was about the only thing that fucked me up. I could have went pro though. Really? You think, I could have for so went to college. What kept you from getting, what, what made you keep getting in trouble? You know, we we, we got an uh, affinity for your city. We love Memphis. Memphis yeah. always show us so much love, man. Yeah, it's my, yeah, yeah. Other than where I'm from, that's my favorite city, man. Oh, so sure. what was it that, that kept you from being able to focus on ball back then? Just me. It was always me. It was always something I had going internally that made me feel a type of way to, you know what I'm saying, act a way on the outside. I was never really like nobody around me. It was just always my thoughts, you know what I'm saying? And the situations I put myself in. You know what I'm saying? This is one reason why I named on my new tape, Me Versus Me, because every situation I've been in, I feel like it's been me, good or bad, it's been because of me, you know what I'm saying? 
Even this shit I can't control, I blame myself because I allowed somebody in my presence to do something to fuck me up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. Well, you said some real shit right shit. there. It takes a strong <clears throat> individual to, to understand that it start with you. yourself first. Yeah, People be fucking with you, though. You Sometimes it ain't just you. People mm -hmm. will bring you out your character. Like the other week, when they said you went to the hospital for drinking too much breast milk. <laughs> I know you seen that. Yeah, I yeah, missed yeah. that one. <laughs> <laughs> they keep fucking with you, man. Fuck around with these niggas, man. And the shit went crazy. He was like, boy, y'all folk believe any guy. So they they got, got said, intoxicated on breast milk. This is hospital. They said hospital life. It's funny, though. Niggas texting me, get well. Are you okay? <laughs> I don't need for tea, man. Bro, you straight, my boy? Yeah, I don't need that. You can't be drinking that shit, my boy. You can't be drinking that shit like you got to take a sip. You got to take a sip. Nigga trying to go see about the lady. Who titty you been on, my boy? Boy, my boy done overdosed on the titty milk, man. <laughs> Ain't that, hey, what if you could overdose on the titty? I don't want to be the nigga to find out. Like, that would be fucked up for me the first nigga. I'd definitely be older than that. For the kids, fool. Look, <laughs> man, 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 uh, it be, it be That's the like, shit you was at the house thinking about watching your baby get hey, breast fed. Hey, I'm like, how the hell you get some milk out that motherfucker? I'm just on them titties. Time to time. I'm just thinking, bro. It's like, he right, though. Real talk. Because it should be something in there for grown men. It should. <laughs> Soon as that baby got here, that motherfucker, I mean, I've been stuck on this city for two years. So Ain't nothing coming so out of So basically, what y'all two things are saying is one titty should always be allocated for us, right. and then the baby get the other one. That right. motherfucker grow and get all this nutrients. Get up on some nutrients. <laughs> <laughs> like, what if, like, it should be something that come out before the baby. Like, them nine months she pregnant, that should be like some grown man nutrients in there. Like, like, yeah. Get ready for the baby. Yeah. Like, you need that for the yeah. baby. Like, I gotta go hustle for the baby. Like, I gotta make this money for our baby. Let me stop, like, man. That's too much. That's, that's, a, lot. Lot. that's, that's a, lot. a lot to think about. Yeah. Man. You, you nigga ain't out right now. Like, you definitely into the health. Like, you didn't, you know what I mean? You, didn't, you had a I didn't revelation say, or something. Yeah, yeah. you went I'm through like this nigga. You had a revelation. I woke up and said, I'm gonna Hey, I mean, this never spent nothing but. I mean, you can, I remember when I see you sitting Indian style like this, mm -hmm. I was like, y'all niggas going through something. He just outside. <laughs> Who was the nigga that got mad when you threw all no the food away? Every time the nigga ain't got no socks on outside. When you throwing the food away and shit, niggas on there, man, don't throw that shit away. Man, what happened? I did that. Yeah. I don't even remember. I just throw some of my food away. I don't know. Look at that. It was one of them niggas. They scared to say something. Yeah. He ain't throwing nobody for me. Yeah, that wasn't my chicken wing. I don't know what happened. Niggas be hiding that shit right now. Spinach. That's all I know. Spinach. But what got you into that, though? Especially being so young. You know what I mean? Most young people think they're invincible. We all think we kind of invincible when we're younger, so. Shit, like you said, you see, you seen niggas saying Indian style, you like that nigga going through some shit. <laughs> That's all that shit was, going through stuff, just trying to find a different alley instead of trying to smoke shit away or just drink shit away, you know what I'm saying? Just doing shit like that because it wasn't helping me internally, it wasn't helping me in the long run. It was a temporary thing, like, I'd smoke some, I'd feel better just for that moment, but my problems would still be there when I get back sober. So, like, I was never really facing my problems. I felt I was running from them. So, shit, I just started praying more, and uh, God just sent me, like, he sent me a lot of signs and shit, and I got into meditation. And once I started meditating, then when I, it started opening my mind up to a lot of shit. Like, I thought my first meditation, it was like a week before I had went vegan. It was like a week. A week of just doing all this shit, I went vegan. You know what I'm saying I stopped smoking weed, stopped lean. Weed vegan though. though. I mean, we vegan, though, but at the same time, it's like certain shit that... Well, don't listen to that nigga. No, the fuck is not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just a talk about an ass It's a plant. It's a plant. It don't come from an animal. I right, mean, facts. But it's just, it's just all about what a nigga, what you rolling it up in. Because I'm I'm going to see you honest, fool. Before weed was legal, it was only, what, three strands? You had Kush, OG, Chronic, whatever. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Three strands. Now it's like... You got briscotti, you got nine later cereal milk, you got all these different scrams. Like, you can't tell me they making this shit in no lab or something. This shit coming out the ass. Like, it's all these different strands, it's all these different stuff. That's shit, why I'm I just was... trying to smoke and get it off the streets. Mm. 
Ain't nothing wrong with that. See, my boy clears it himself. I'm doing see, independent in research, trying to see what it is. I know what, I know, I seen a couple camps, too. They always growing this shit. Oh, God. Oh, but they growing it. Yeah, it's shit hybrid. Did that affect you musically? Like, you know, me switching? The, the, just switching out your, you know, because a lot of people would subscribe to the weed and the mm. liquor right. to, for creativity. Did that fuck up your creativity? Yeah, mine made me better, because I sat down and started writing music. Mm. Like, when I, was, when I was smoking this shit, I ain't had a, I was always on, like, I was just moving, like, I was always, I, my anxiety was, I had anxiety real bad, and the weed shit, I thought this shit was gonna help my shit, but then it didn't help it. Shit boosted. Yeah, boosted, like, I was just always on edge, like, even I, I wasn't smoking no sativa, I'm smoking indica, so I'm making sure I'm chill, right. but I'm still, like, so I could never just sit down and write, because it wasn't no calmness in me, so when I went sober, I got real calm, and, like, I, st I started making my best music, because I'm really thinking, really scoping shit out. It's like I'm painting a picture instead of going in the studio unprepared and just right. hoping the dope give me the what I need. And sometimes I get stuck smoking weed. I get in the middle of the song and be like, nah, I'm tired. Because I don't smoke phase three blunts. Right, right. My whole self since I've been in there. So I feel like some, I just rather be prepared. Now I write my shit before I go to the studio. So when I go in there, I got it already written. I'm reading it out the paper. Right. Like it's jail while I'm rapping on me. So that's how I be now. So it really helped me, it improved me, because like, once you think about it, I made my best hits writing. Shot of Flow, I made that, I wrote that song. I only freestyle at the end, when I was like, I might just OD. That's the only part I freestyle. But my best hits, I really, I was writing them best at first. You probably your shit, young yeah. nigga, you sound about 30. <laughs> it take niggas all the way to 30, trying to get their mind right, right. man. Mm -hmm. Niggas, you know what you need now, nigga. That's yeah. a good thing, and, and, you ain't crazy. You doing the right way, right. you prayed up, you stand prayed up, God gonna give you all the signs, bro, you dig what I'm saying? So just stay willing and, and openly to, to receive all the blessings, be aware of all the distractions, but be willing to open, to be receptive to any new beginnings, you yeah, dig what I'm so, saying? You doing you right, you doing most right. Most people that's your age don't get to that point, you know what I mean? Like you. You got a whole lot of life to live, and a lot of times it take you living that life to be able to realize the changes that you need to make, some traumatizing situation. Mm -hmm. So it's a blessing that you didn't necessarily have to go through anything super traumatizing for you to realize you need to make that change. And You know what I mean? Be that motivating factor, because a lot of young niggas is out here thinking that they need to chew up 40 perk 30s and, you know, drink a quarter lean just to be able to be cool. And yeah. Nah, you can be cool in this style with no socks on, nigga. He's mm -hmm. proof, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> publicly with it, too, though. Like, yeah. when the shit you do, you telling, like, your people, like, hey, I'm doing this and I'm doing that. They like, well, is he tripping or is he chaining or is this a good thing? I'm like, boy, y'all niggas, <laughs> niggas don't understand. But some niggas who know, like, man, shout is popping his shit. Yeah, As a young nigga, for real. you're yeah. mobile. Love my god now, so when you love yourself, you ain't tripping on one of the motherfucking things. Facts. You saying like you, you do comedy, y'all do comedy, y'all love what y'all do. Y'all love y'all self for that. God gave y'all the gift to be stupid funny. So y'all gonna embrace this shit, y'all gonna do y'all shit. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Other people, God instilled different shit in people. When I feel like when you ain't when you ain't living in what he instilled in you, that's when you that's when like your blessings ain't coming, cause like you pursue, you pursuing like a, you projecting like a fake persona. Like, I'm just real. I'm gonna right. keep it real all the way 100. Even yeah, if yeah. I know a motherfucker gonna be on my ass, yeah. like, I'm gonna keep that shit real than me. That's the best Somebody way to might go. be inspired. Somebody might, I might save a life. life. Yeah, put, yes, you know most saying? definitely. All right, nigga, most pop definitely. your shit every time. Hell yeah. Well, Hebrew is like, yeah, 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 he like, boy, yeah. Mm. Boy, it's like... That like Carlos had hell man over there thinking. Look at his ass. <laughs> no, I just think about that shit, He's still thinking. We need some nutrition, my boy. And that'll be the nigga to come out with the campaign. We ain't tripping. <laughs> listen, listen. We suck on this titty forever. Soon as the baby come, it's, it's, she be like, look, it's dripping. Where's the baby? You like, where the baby, bitch? I'm here. <laughs> See, is you know what it probably I'm is. That's that shit if y'all want to go deep said. with it, that's probably what the beauty of being a baby. Babies the only ones that know the technique. The milk probably always in the titty. You just don't know how to suck it right to get it out of there. No, ah, look what you started. Sometimes it be so much of it that it just starts dripping, bro. The titty just be leaking. Yeah, it be so much, it just be like. It just be leaking. See, it's some shit like that. Yeah, you know what as mean? soon as I get there, it be like the, the milk gone. <laughs> Right. Right. I know you think it too much, man. Here, like, what did I break my baby to? These <laughs> niggas don't My here. baby mama put titty milk in my pancake one time <laughs> and thought it was funny. Oh, God. I'm eating it, I'm just like, 
She like, nah, I put my titty milk in it. You didn't appreciate it, but now you want some milk out the titty? You ain't even appreciate it when you had the pancakes. Uh-uh, bitch, you don't put the titty milk in the pancake, bitch. I want the titty straight out the, I want it out the titty. Don't put the milk out the, yeah, man. You can't mix it with everything, tripping, man. Man. Just, man. I don't like Girl, certain shit to This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Hey, it's Clayton English. Relationships take work. And a lot of us will drop anything to go help someone we care about. We'll go out of our way to treat other people well. But how often do we give ourselves the same treatment? BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. Whether it's hitting the gym, making time for your haircut, or even trying therapy, you are your greatest asset. So invest the time and effort into yourself like you do for other people. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp Online Therapy. This month, BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to take care of your most important relationship, the one you have with yourself. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and 85 South listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash 85 South. The hell, man. Exactly. <laughs> you thought I'm high. Yeah, you don't have to post me. Exactly. Yeah, right. I actually ate titty milk in my pancakes. See, that's the thing about it. That's how fucked up it is. He said he ate titty milk. <laughs> he did? Yeah, I did. The texture of titty milk and pancakes is like bologna. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? It's gonna be a nigga in the comments like, man, I knew I wasn't the only one. <laughs> me, me too. Dude, this shit crazy. And the comments crazier than that. Uh, Somebody gonna be in there. I've been drinking titty milk for four years. <laughs> it's good. It got good vitamin E. I'm gonna tell you where to buy it at. It's a store. <laughs> in man, San Bernardino, California. It's the only it's, one that's. What if it's minerals in the titty? It is. It is. Everybody know that. It's minerals? That's why babies get it's so big. Minerals. It is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some you minerals? ever go to the pre kick <laughs> Well, I know you ain't talking. Minerals. Well, I know your ass ain't talking. Egg landing. <laughs> <laughs> you don't never go to the pre k Who? You like, you ever picked your kids up from pre k Yeah. Them kids in there that's bigger than everybody? They, they that, got them the minerals. Them the breastfed kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They know how to write what they write in their left hand. They be smart <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> Damn. Now, you from Memphis, man, and that's one of the greatest cities as far as the hip hop music all the way. Love Memphis, so, man. We love it, man. Love it, man. Well, uh, who were some of your influences coming up, Liza Young? I ain't even gonna lie to you, my mom. Like, your mama rap? Nah. I was about to say. <laughs> 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 you know, what's up, my girl? You talking about music? I ain't really had too many Memphis people I was inspired by. Cause honestly, in my household, we was listening pop. Like pops like to play pop a lot. So, but you know what I'm saying? All my life, I was hearing Memphis, Memphis like classes and shit. So, when you go to it, I always fuck with Juicy. I always fuck with DJ Paul. I still fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? They come to the studio, they'll parlay with me. So, you know what I'm saying? Love for them. But like growing up, though, just in general, like my motivation, though, it came from my mom. Like musically, I fuck with pop and then Wayne. What's your favorite pop song? I got, it gotta be Dear Mama. I fuck with Dear Mama, cause that's just a song I resonate with. I ain't gonna yeah, lie, Dear Mama. I feel you. Mine is Death Around the Corner. You know Death Around the Corner? I see Death Around the Corner. Mm -hmm. Well, gotta stay high while I survive yeah. in the city where the skinny niggas die when you bury me, bury me as a dream nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I see you back in the park, man. Yeah. That was the shit I was growing up on, mm -hmm. man, for sure. You My know favorite what I mean? pop song is So Many Tears. Oh yeah, yeah. So Many Tears, so many that's another one. Yeah, that's all the way. I can't just. I don't I can't stay, I, I ain't got no favorite. I, I love all the motherfuckers. That's the thing that you blow. Yeah, yeah. that's Stevie that's Wonder. Yeah. Uh, that's, I knew that was that was <laughs> on me. No, nobody, nobody had no harmonica in that shit. They put your some harmonicas in your neck, shit. Real, baby. I got to. Yeah, okay. that's what. The only part. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, funny. <laughs> that, that nigga funny. That 
Shout out, Flo. That's what blew you up. That's what took you to the next level. I'm trying to keep it in the pocket, nigga, but niggas, the 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 niggas, <laughs> oh, oh shit, man. Man. Yeah, that, that, The shot of flow, that blew you up. Like, did you know that was gonna go? Honestly, like, I knew it was gonna go, but I ain't know it was gonna go that crazy. I was telling my folks, I was like, damn, how many, how many views you gonna think this bitch gonna pull in a month? Everybody telling me like a meal, like a million, a million. One of my one of my boys with me said, they hoe gonna hit a hundred meal. I just looked at his ass, I'm like, man, he got power. <laughs> <laughs> but I swear to God, that bitch got over 100 million to this day. Over 100 million. Come on. Now come out of midnight, when you, when you first were getting in the bull, like coming out of midnight, like how hard was it for you just like, all right, just to get over that hump, like fuck this shit, I'm going to keep going. You know, some niggas get distracted and get discouraged. I ain't gonna lie, fool. Hell no, nah, I would, I would end it. Like as soon as I seen that, when I seen that motherfucker start blowing up, the way it blew up, my mind, hell no, nah, I ain't. I'm straight in this. I'm a hundred percent in. Whatever I was, I ain't never one foot in, one foot out. I'm, I got the tendencies. I gotta go hard at anything I do. If it's robbing a motherfucker, killing a motherfucker, stealing something, making music, whatever it is, I gotta be a hundred in it. And when I feel like a lot of niggas from my city don't get that blessing. Right, right, right. So like, right. I was on the phone, I had mom like, mom, we don't know shit about the music industry, but we need to fly around, meet all these labels. Every label was hitting. I'm saying, I, I had to take heed to that. I knew there was something I had to jump on. Like, so you were just doing it for fun when you made that song? You were just fucking around? No, nah, I wasn't fucking around with this series because at the same time, I was battling something internally. Like, I was really depressed because I ain't really know what I really wanted to get out in life, I was really, <clears throat> mom, I was really making everybody around me, my parents and shit, I wasn't making them proud. I wasn't right, making the right decisions. I wasn't doing the right shit. I'm you know saying, I ain't gonna lie, during that time of the song, this shit was going, blowing up, I had like all Fs and one A, but I never was. What's wanted, your day in? A gym. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> No, knew it. Nigga was coming to school dressed in gym clothes, basketball shorts, and tank top. Nigga. And nigga, he was good. He, he was good. good. He was good. He was good. Kickball, all that. He was just acing it. Hey, you knew I was going to say gym. Too. <laughs> I you thought you was going to fuck him up and say some shit like biology. Nah, or something. I was like, fine. Like, I was good like, good please let it be a subject. <laughs> fuck. I was rooting for you. But no, nah, like, I was just, I don't you know, I was really contemplating dropping out and just. Trying to make this shit work. And they really saved my life. Cause I was, like I said, I was good at hooping, but I couldn't stay out of trouble. So I ain't really play. I ain't play like varsity. Like my, my I ain't play school ball like that. AAU, I play because it was different, but I was right. still getting in trouble. AAU, I played for one of like the best AAU teams in the world. Team Penny, it's Penny Hardaway. Penny Hardaway, yeah, yeah, yeah. I played for them, but I barely played too. Cause on the road, I'd be doing a little shit in the hotel. I'd fight with my teammates. I was just doing a lot of stuff there disturbed me from from what I really loved. I love hooping. But I just knew, like, I knew myself. I knew who I was right. at that time when I was young. And I knew I'd never be able to take a, take, take, be, have a coach in my ear all day telling me, do this, do that, because I'm, I'm a man of my own. I like to be independent. I like to wake up and say, let me work on this today, instead of a nigga waking me up saying, work on that jump shot today. You know, right. I like to do it on my own, you know what I'm saying? So, when, when I blew up in there, it was something I really loved doing. And it was like, music was therapy. It still is therapy for me. Go to the studio and vent. Hey, what's up? It's Carlos Miller. In case you haven't heard, we over here at the 85 South Show have launched our own independent streaming service called Channel 85. Once you sign up, you get access to the podcast a whole day earlier than anyone on YouTube. All of our live shows, independent specials, um, new shows like Project Carlos, 85, and we even got, you know, special offers and discount codes for merchandise and show tickets. It's only $8.50 a month or $85 a year. That's channel85.com. Or, or on your iPhone, your Apple TV, Amazon, Fire Stick, Roku, Android is coming soon. That's channel85. Make sure you subscribe. Hey.
Play that shit out on the music, man. Keep giving us the motherfucking hits, you dig what I'm saying? Keep making your mama and your daddy proud, you dig? Uh. Keep praying and showing these niggas it's cool to be different. Yes, <laughs> all the way. Yo, now, still, NLE, where that come me? from? Where you, where you develop that? What you mean? Your name, like the NLE. NLE. So in LA, I, um, I was rapping with a group of niggas at first, and um, I kind of branched off from that and did my own thing. So I always wanted to make like my own brand, my own label. And I used to always call myself No Love, because I, I ain't show no love. And when I did, when I ever showed love, it, it turned out bad for me. So I just labeled myself No Love. And within that, I made No Love Entertainment in LA. So I got somebody made me like a logo and shit. I'm about 15, 16. I'm really doing this shit. Like, I'm really thinking, like, um, my mentality was up there through the roof. Like, I knew what I wanted to do. Made NLE, No Love Entertainment. Nigga, I had these bullshit ass shirts. They was so bullshit. It was like a guild. Middle of the mall, Jones. Man, I'm talking about you put that on the washing machine, this shit peeling off. Right now. You crippled. You crippled one time, John. <laughs> But I was doing shit like that, selling them. I'm like, I'm like, hey, you wanna be in that league? Hit my DM while I was finding a little ducks that wanted to buy it. I had sell them the shirt. I'm like, how I'm in that league, but you selling me the shirt. Man, I'm doing <laughs> shit like that. Cause you in that league, nigga. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I was doing little shit like that, and yeah, I just made my brand. What's up? Right, too. Gotta make it, you gotta start somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pop your shit. See it. You gotta see it, man. See it all the way through. Stand on it, believe it. Shit gonna happen. That's what Twitter got this whole campaign now where they finding all the celebrity tweets before they, you know, got famous and when they was speaking on, you know, becoming famous. Now they putting this shit on billboards, all the Times yeah. Square and shit like that, man. Them that speaking to Hey, man, it take hard to chase your dream, though. A lot of heart. Yeah, yeah. I watched some shit about Big Kanye. Boy. We just watched some shit with Kanye. It was like an interview he did before he blew. Ooh, that man was passionate. That boy had that. He was passionate. Like he used to tell, he, used to, he was telling the interviewers, the interviewers didn't want to interview him. So he told, he went and he went up there and told them to interview him just so they could remember his face. Mm -hmm. It's an interview, ain't nobody seen the jacket. Somebody showed me an exclusive hood. It was way before he blew. He was like, yeah, I'm just talking my shit right now. It's like us playing a basketball game. I'm just dribbling up the court talking shit. By the time I get to the end of it, I'm gonna show you how I hit the shot. Boy, that motherfucker hit that shot. Over and over again. He boom. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, what, that's the thing about, you know, chasing your dream, in my opinion. You chase it, and then you catch it, but then you got to keep catching them, because once you catch it, it just, I tell people all the time, getting to your, whatever your goal is, just give you a better view of okay. what's available, yeah, you know what I mean? Though. Yeah, you know what I mean? So it's like, you got to keep on. Like, it's one thing to, it's a lot of people that come and go, but to be able to be around for a long period of time, you got to keep remotivating mm -hmm. yourself mm -hmm. and making new goals and making up new things to chase, you know what I mean? Okay. So, you know, you're doing the right thing, young nigga, all the way. Don't mix the emotions with it, too. You got to be militant. I think that's the only way, you feel me? Because you can also observe other people's mistakes to see, like, what drove them that way, you yeah. feel what I'm saying? Why they did that. You can tell, man, because even with this industry, this shit can take a toll on you. God, it does. This shit can take, and it can drive you crazy, and it can make you do some things, but at it the end of the work. day, it's a job. So what, what we gotta know how to do is differentiate and know how to distinguish, okay, let me keep my emotions and my feelings over here, let me just go to work. Like, we be having to do, we are comedians, <clears throat> and our job is to make somebody laugh who we don't fucking know. Mm -hmm. So we, we damn near, we might not be friendly at all, mm -hmm. but we gotta go out here and shake everybody's hand, yeah. laugh with them, be like, hey man, you know what? Fuck what's going on in your life. We just finna, we finna, we finna, we finna change the vibe right quick. Yeah. Not knowing we traumatize ourselves. Yeah, oh God. But we have to tap into a certain mind frame where it's like, it's not even about us no more. We gotta go on this stage and make, all these people feel a certain type of way because that's our calling. And they finna make us, it, it, it's reciprocated. Yeah. Just like how you, when you rapping on the show and all you see all the motherfuckers out there rapping your Do motherfucking I word. It, I it's feel a it. It's I a feel it. Just how you go up there and make people laugh, I go up there and make people bounce up and down, so I feel exactly what you're saying. Hell yeah, you, you go out there and you do a show, you, it's impossible to go to bed. Ain't nobody about to go do no show and go to bed. Then you be up all fucking night because it's the, like you said, the exchange of energy. Right. You be so charged up, and then you gonna go to sleep till the sun come up. All the yeah. way, and you and, and just no finding that, song. finding that, just that too. Be careful with that, though, nigga. You fall <laughs> Don't in fall. something, never yeah. fall out. Don't fall in it. You be falling and get like, stuck. Why that way? Why can't? 
You know what I mean? <laughs> but, you know, finding that balance, man, is important, you know, because, yeah. you know, we, you, how old are you now with? 19. Nin 19. Damn, I ain't find myself. Damn, boy. Like Coochie just got good, too, boy. From boy, I swear to God that Coochie don't look like school. When you 19? Right. Hey, it's Clayton English. Did you forget that one thing at the store and now you don't feel like going back out? Now you can get snacks, drinks, and household essentials delivered right to your door in 30 minutes with DoorDash. DoorDash connects you with the restaurants you love right now and right to your door. With over 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory. Ordering is easy. Open the DoorDash app, choose what you want from where you want, and your items will be left safely outside your door with the contactless delivery drop-off setting. For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code 85SOUTH2022. That's 25% off, up to $10 in value, and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code 85SOUTH2022. Don't forget, that's code 85SOUTH2022 for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. 19 when I first Man. had my vote. 19, you can fuck four, nah, five, right. six, 19, times, that's man. when the nuts still got 18. this on it, nigga. Just stand over there. Think I'm 17. <laughs> Five. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Think I'm 17. Yeah. I'm 19. <laughs> 19, man, like, Shit. you know what I mean? Like, just at I went that, to school with your dad and them, boy. Right, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, finding that, that being where you are at your age, like, just, I can tell you, I, at your age, I was nowhere near yeah. as mature as you are now just sitting here having this conversation with you. So yeah. you've so far yeah, ahead yeah. in the game. Because when I was 19, I was ignorant, ignorant than a motherfucker. I could have been the poster Ooh. for ignorant. But I thought I was a grown man. Like, yeah. And that's the thing. I constantly told myself I was a grown man until I started going through grown man yeah, shit. shit. And then I realized, wait a minute, nigga. I done jumped out there too. Yeah. I you spoke to the same soon. shit. Well, he I, didn't I did the 20 shit, shit yet. It's a thing, like, I don't even live like a young nigga, though. That's why I feel like I really been here before. Hey, make sure you enjoy like this girls. shit, too. This shit fun. I mean... You gotta I just, enjoy this shit. I feel like I just got something to do. I feel like my purpose so deep that I feel like I don't need to enjoy nothing until, like, I get done what I, what I feel I need to get done. Until I touch the amount of people I need to touch. So, I mean, hell yeah, I'm, a, I'm still young as hell. In my early 20s, I'm gonna have fun, fun. But right now, like, until I'm about 20, 22, 23, I need to bust my ass so I can set some more, a big ass foundation. That's good, that's shit. good. That, that's a good mentality, but also understand, man, you owe it to yourself to appreciate the blessings God has given yeah, you still. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I do little shit, it's just I'm not, it, it's like, I'm too serious. Like, I don't know, we like, do, I, I, that's I don't cool. ain't doing nothing wrong. But that's it's cool. like, I can't relax. You don't have to do what people say you supposed to do to qualify you being successful. Whatever it is, like you see, you already there. Whatever it is you into, yeah. whatever it is you fuck with, subscribe to that and yeah. do that. But make sure you do that to appreciate because God giving you blessings and your blessings are yours. So you got to appreciate yeah, them sure. in the process because it's going to open up more doors. But yeah. if you constantly just focus on, I got to do this, I got to do this, mm -hmm. I got ain't nothing guaranteed, mine ain't guaranteed. So you don't want to short yourself from appreciating that you didn't beat the game already at 19, my nigga. Like, right. you didn't beat the game, bro. <laughs> I got too, like I don't, I don't, I don't sit down. I don't get a chance to enjoy. I just be feeling like if I ain't working, somebody else is. Understood. It's, Hell yeah. At 30, yeah. But even at 30, I'm like that. Like I'm, I'm like how you is at 19. I feel like running shit up, run the bag oh, all the way the fuck up. When I say up, nigga, up, up and away, my boy. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> don't that look, bad. don't look behind you. You did, but as it's, it's gonna be a time. I'm telling you. Where you just need to relax. Yeah, for sure. Just what, meditate, nigga. You, the time where you meditate, yeah. nigga, you might need a week of that shit. Don't oh, mean, down no. I ain't chasing regret. the bag no more. I'm chasing the cart. You already know the bag, there. Yeah. You know the cart that they put the money in the vault with. Mm -hmm. I want yeah. me one of them. One of the big ass laundry cart. I'm looking cart. for the, the, the bag trunk. The money truck. The truck with the bag yeah. in it. Nigga, I'll do y'all one better. I'm from DC. I'm trying to get in the Federal Reserve where they printing the shit at. Okay. That's where it's at, nigga. I just want to be on the other side. When they pay the IRS, they pay me. Oh, that nigga. <laughs> 
Hey, strike that from the camera, nigga. We went too far. <laughs> Secret Service in the van. We finally got him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Which, hey, man, I, and I can hear the, I can hear the pop and see the pop influence in you, man, because a lot of people don't know that nigga was 25 when he died. Yeah. Like, he had did all that. He at did. He, he did more than that. Pac did so much shit. Every throwback Thursday, they drop a new picture of this nigga. Yep. No caps. So. Yep. And they got new pictures coming out 20 years new later. New interviews. You so like, where that interview though. came yeah, from? Exactly. He lived, he lived so fast. That nigga lived. He, he, like, he, he lived, lived the fuck out of life, life though. Yeah, he, knew he, knew that. Know it. he lived so fast. Like when you when you that powerful and you can touch that many people and you and you a Hebrew. I don't wanna say black, because black means that you you don't know who you are. You feel me? It's a color. When you know who you are, who know who your tribe is, and you start speaking to your people, she start getting, getting a little serious. Yeah. Real talk. But you know, we don't walk by fear. We walk with, we ready for war. Yeah, on God. <laughs> now, when, me versus me. When is that? <laughs> when you when you putting that out there? Me versus me, 128, uh, January 28th. I was supposed to drop it this Friday, but I pushed it back one more week just so I can have time to shoot some more videos, get some shit done. After that, we're going up. We're through the roof with this one. I ain't even gonna lie to you. What you got it? on them? I got Thug, Bag, okay. Polo, and G Herbo. Mm. G Herbo? Nice oh. Good little lineup. Yeah. Nice yeah. little collection. Nice little collection. Do you nice. like collabing with, with, with artists, or are you more so like, man, I you know, that I like to get in there by myself? And... It's one thing. I love, I love collabing with artists, but it's, it's just the. It's just a thing of like sometimes like waiting on if they want to collab with you or you know what I'm saying if you they want to feel the love yeah right. you know what I'm saying that's all it is if it's reciprocated if it's the same if we got the same amount of love for each other here yeah, yeah let's get in but I ain't got an Instagram so I, I've been banned for Instagram since I was 16 so Fuck it's harder to build relationships with other artists and no telling they cut them off of them shirts <laughs> <laughs> you sell these goddamn shirts and we get too many complaints take us pay but you all, you, you all on Twitter yeah I'm on Twitter you know, okay. I'm about to check no down Twitter DM right. I mean let me check it but you can't separate the posts from like the top. Damn, people. so okay. you gotta go through them hoes. Right. You gotta go through every last one of them bullshit. Until you see or somebody. Yeah, it's like, bullshit in there too. Yeah, if they get the separation shit, I might have a little justice, but still, I ain't nobody really checking. Do, are me. you one of the, the type of artists that'll say when you run into somebody like, "Hey man, let's work," or do uh, you know? Because a lot of people get frustrated with that. You know, when you meet a dude and be like, "Yeah, you know, it's a lot of Hollywood shit." Mm -hmm. All right, baby. Have my people call your hey, people. Hey, make sure you get my number. Hey, man, get my number. All right, man. Does that frustrate you? Um, no, not really, though. I ain't gonna lie to you, because at the end of the day, what's meant for me gonna be meant for me. You know what I'm saying? What's not, I ain't. You know what I'm saying? But I will, I lock in with artists. Like, yo, let me get your number, sister. You know what I'm saying? Stay locked in with them, but it's never like I'm pressing them like I want to work or whatever and try to be on it, on it, because like I said, if it's meant for me, it's gonna come to me or it's gonna get done. I ain't gotta really stress it too much, you know. So. Hey man, you know you got a hot ass song when everybody wanted to spit a verse on it. A lot of people rapped on your on your shit, man. Who were some of the people that you saw rapping on your shit that you was like, I ain't even know they fuck with me like that? It's funny on um, Tory Lanez had rapped on he, crazy. He, that I ain't been broken a minute song. Mm -hmm. He rapped that originally on the Shot of Flow beat, but then when he he realized how hard the song was. It's engineering them. There was no studio. I was like, hey, nah, you need to put this on another beat. This can go up. <laughs> so they put it on another beat, which the, I ain't been broken a minute, right? And I think he got a plaque right now sitting on that hole. But he yeah, recorded too. it to Shadow Flow, though. Man. Uh, uh, damn, hard. so you inspired a hit song? Key, <laughs> he just realized, like, I did. <laughs> Man, that, cause you know, that everybody has spit a yeah, verse over that beat. Who made yeah. the beat on it? Um, Midas. It was a guy named Midas. I mean, he, he came out of Philly. Did he think that's why, that that why you said Southwest Philly on the song? No, I was just rapping. You just rapping? Yeah. I mean, you got it right. Had you been a, I love Philly, though. I used to love Philly. Philly cheese steak. Yeah, yeah. You do you got a little Philly cheese steak head. Egg like that. Nah, but when you said. I ain't gonna lie, you wanna know something, though. What? I ain't gonna check you, fool. For real? Cause you got mallets. You can keep going. I'm gonna just get off of your ass real good. All right. Think about real good. Look at your size, you up, fly. I already know. Keep that bitch on, dog. Where you at, you, baby? Yeah. Nappy, yo, man. I just, man. Look, I just, man. 
You know how the Memphis nigga love though. Big head, little shoe ass yeah. nigga, man. Why no big man having that nigga, man? Big man. I will say something, but Beef over here, your mouth right. rich in here right now. <laughs> 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 Man, that nigga dropped the jam. Hey, I'm like, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I want to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm done, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> and like a big nigga over there. Man, man. Every time I go to Memphis, bro, they love me. Bro, I'm talking about they won't even let me get my set out, but they just be want to roast. Man, I be listen. like, y'all, what's wrong with y'all? Everywhere, you? bro. All the way. They Anybody you hit you. Old ladies. Everybody. Bro. They be she told me I know your big head ain't hit me calling you, man. Big head ain't nigga, man. I fuck with you, man. Like, you what sure? Me crazy, though, if you ain't even from Memphis, if you not from Memphis, a lot of niggas would think a motherfucker really trying to get off on them. Like, right. Nigga don't even know you showing love. You gotta love. know the they culture, love, dog. Like, that's why I love the city so much, because the culture is so unique. Like, mm -hmm. it's one of them cities that got a culture that it's Memphis shit, mm -hmm. Memphis, man. Yeah. It's like when you go, you can get engulfed in y'all culture. Yeah. I mean, from the food to the the way of doing things, all that. Like, we love it. Like, that was yeah. the first place I ever sold out a show was in Memphis, yeah, you know, in Chuckles, man. And they, you know, and it was surprising to me because, you know, at that point, we didn't really know. We was early in the game, for real. Like, we didn't know who was paying attention or whatever. We just mm -hmm. niggas on Wildin' Out. Yeah. But when we went, it was like, nah, we fuck with you. Yeah, and they sure, was the first city to, to really show me that type of love, man. Yeah. You know, Memphis I really appreciate it for, for anybody. They don't care if you the biggest star or the smallest one. If you the star, they fuck with you. They appreciate you, you know, I'm gonna love your ass. Cause oh, you gotta yeah. think, Memphis, bro, ain't shit really going on in Memphis but killing, robbing, stealing this shit. Salt, all this shit, you know what I'm saying? So when when stars do come, they really embrace them. Cause they be, in Memphis, we be feeling like everybody don't wanna come to Memphis right. because of the bullshit they hear. But when y'all come and really show their love, then when they embrace this oh, shit yeah. out we of was all, We be everywhere, what? too. In the city, trends, all over, <laughs> nigga. I'm talking about places you know, niggas. Like, man, man, what the fuck you doing in here, man? I'm like, doing the same thing you doing. He's like, do you mind this shit? Like, yeah, so today real. I am, you know what I mean? <laughs> and it's just, you know, that, that love, man. But you, man, 19 years old is 19. amazing to me, man. 19. Like, bro, 19. I know what I was doing at 19. Me man. too, bro. I was breaking down a gram of cocaine, thinking I'm finna run it up. I wasn't doing <laughs> A shit. gram? A gram, that's all I had. You, how was you bringing it up like this, nigga? <laughs> I was it down. Let me tell you something. I bought it for $45 and I made 75 I nicked it out. That's crazy. Yeah. I, 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 nigga, I was just going to school. I was going to college. And the only reason I went to college is because my uncle got killed. My uncle got killed real, it was real nasty. Scared the shit out of me. I was in the street, so it was like, and he was Superman to me. Like, mm -hmm. I couldn't, I didn't think, you know, certain niggas you, you, you come think? in contact with that you think is above certain shit. But yeah. that taught me that in the streets, I don't care who you is, nobody is above the reality. You, so, you stay long enough, you're going to jail or you're going to the graveyard. Sure. And that was my first time ever realizing that like oh shit like I'm not because a lot of the shit I was able to do was because of nepotism I ain't never had a problem with a problem but people knew who my people were mm -hmm. and then when that happened it was like nigga don't give a fuck who your people is nigga you better get out here or stop playing so I was like man you know what I'm gonna go go down to North Carolina and get my education mm -hmm. fuck that, that you know what I mean and 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 it it changed me, but at the same time, I was still that ignorant young nigga from the streets of D.C. at 19. I just was, you know, playing like I was doing the right thing, but I didn't have my mind right. I could have excelled a whole lot quicker than I mm -hmm. did if I would have just embraced the fact that, you know, the shit that I was escaping from shouldn't be anything that I'm dedicating my energy or time to. So, salute to you, young nigga. For being your age, you win it. And don't win stop it. being you. Just keep nigga, doing when that I shit. was 19, I was delivering pizza in a bubble caprice. This is how stupid I was. And I had a pound of weed under the armrest. Under the armrest? <laughs> I'm thinking they put it under the yeah, armrest. That's, that's a big ass cool. armrest, Nick. Yeah, it was in the Caprice. It worked, though. That's what it was. I'm but sure. you, and, like, this is <laughs> thinking about the dumb shit we used to do. I remember me and my man was driving back <laughs> down the highway, twisted, 19, ain't even had no business drinking. We get pulled over. 
The police officer get so mad that we was young, it was like, man, y'all motherfuckers, slow down. Black officer was like, y'all go ahead, nigga, slow down. <laughs> Soon as he pulled off, we pulled off. First thing we do is took our seatbelts back off. I think back to that now, like, what the fuck is wrong with you <laughs> dumbass nigga? Like, why would you even do that? It's just a level of invincibility that you don't even possess, young nigga. And man, salute yeah, to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, look, shit. I can say at 19, I look up to you because I know at your age, I wasn't, I wasn't there. And Especially so, with all the shit yeah. you can do now. It's so much shit you could be doing. God, I shit, famous at 19? Famous at 19? Shit. Right now. Might have died. Right now. now. Might have died. Might have died. Right now. I would have been at the mother... <laughs> nigga, I, was, Man, I don't know why. I would have been in the middle boy. of the street just doing this <laughs> shit. Right. <laughs> And salute to your parents that's in here too, man. Y'all did a hell of a job. Yeah, yeah. Listen, no man. Salute to y'all. For real. You know what I'm saying? Salute to y'all. Yeah. Yeah. What Ooh. platform you putting the new shit on? Shit, all on. Mm -hmm. Airwell. Yeah, well, it's gonna be Airwell too. I can't this wait to hear. It's gonna be my hardest body of work. Twenty-eight. What you what you think the one that's gonna go off this one is though? What you think the one? If you had to pick one that you think gonna be the one that's gonna take it to the next level, I'm gonna go with straight song. to the song too. As soon as that bit drop. Well, I gotta put. I got all of them just gonna go. But if I was to pick one, since we in Atlanta. I don't know how much I'll fuck with Thug, but I feel like the Thug one. Nah, push I'm with Thug. Thug. What you mean? How much much school Thug? Thug. On me pushing with you, Thug. I saw you post the yearbook. I saw you post the yearbook picture with you and Thug. What grade was y'all in? I want to say, I had to break six. Six grade. Six mm -hmm. grade. Man, you know how powerful that is to even see that, like the odds y'all That shit crazy. Beat. I mean, that's why I'm like, I'm really proud of nigga. Like, bro, can a nigga come from the trenches for real? Mm -hmm. You feel like? Shawty come from the trenches, from the south side of Atlanta, where he stayed at, in the projects called John Burr South and John Burr North. He from the south, was the trenches, you yeah. feel me? And from me knowing him coming from that and seeing him doing that now, like, everybody that's around him, I know from that little area, like, man, folk popping that shit, bro. You feel me? Uh, as you should, especially <laughs> when you coming from this shit. You yeah. hear me? you should, you got to. No cap, yeah, so I'm proud of him. He went crazy. I feel like the whole Atlanta gonna be bumping that shit. Shit. What's the name right. of the song? It's called Push It. Push it. Push it. That's what's up. Yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing it, yeah, nigga, because it sound like you, you know, you put something out there that ain't no, a lot of young artists ain't putting out there. It ain't all about sliding in 30s and, yeah. you know, switches and all that yeah. shit. And it's cool, you know, we understand, because, you know, like, I, I just was having this conversation with somebody about the shit that we grew up listening to. I was a little boy listening to Pac and all that shit. I was just listening to Drew Down, Pimp of the Year, and they ain't had no business listening to that shit, nigga. I'm, I'm listening to Yin Yang Twins. Motherfucking seven yeah. years old, man. I'm gonna be the motherfucking pimp of the year. Walking around doing shit like this here. I'm like, nigga, I was not doing nothing even remotely close to Why that. Did you say my dick? <laughs> See what I'm saying? Why did you say my dick? Hey. No, you can't be listening to no Yin Yang twins? Yeah. No fifth grade? So it ain't nothing. I, ain't, I would never talk down on the content of the music because everything is evolution, but it ain't no social commentary. It can't be a whole album of you killing niggas. It ain't enough niggas left for you to kill. <laughs> Me. You know what I mean? So. Dug them so, up the grave and they killed them again. <laughs> <laughs> number one. That's number one on the song. Damn. Dig a nigga up. That shit crazy. So salute to you, young nigga. It's an honor, man. Seriously. You know what I mean? That one last. That would been hard to end the album on. Dig a nigga up. Dig a nigga up and kill him again. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker, that's a closer. <laughs> You this start with cause, you start up, with the argument, the end with digging that nigga back up. Yeah, that's a. Yeah. The intro is arguing. No, the intro is the phone call. What? What he say? What nigga? <laughs> what nigga say? Man, I just spoke to nigga yesterday, man. <laughs> that's number two. <laughs> what a nigga say, I number just, one? I just, I just spoke to that nigga, nigga yesterday. Yes, number two. He dabbed me up. The nigga was like, "What's up, my he boy?" He dabbed me up, number three. He was like, "What's up, my boy?" Number four. Then you just worked Never your way down. Never got a problem. I fucked your bitch, number six. <laughs> <laughs> No cap. Hey, I man, ain't been say like less. <laughs> <laughs> nigga say less. That's number eight. <laughs> yeah. We on the you way. ugly in here, man. Ain't that number nine? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta put a Memphis on that thing. Nah, man. This your first time in the trap. Don't let it be the last, though, man. No, sir. Nah, so I'm here. Don't be know. looking up there. I ain't shit up there. Man. Ain't shit. <laughs> we ain't got no roof. <laughs> the fuck is we ain't got no roof. We just got to fit. Ain't I shit up cool there. I shit cool like that. Fuck that roof. <laughs> they really a trap out. Should I got look that nice? Yeah, no. Nah. Nah, that don't mean we don't have to be in the trap. Put that shit down, man. Oh, one thing about it, it gonna get smoked, my boy. You hear me? I see my four pumps. Oh yeah, I don't get burnt. 
Mm-hmm. What you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's funny, though. I used to smoke my shit to the lad like that, though, too. Yeah, this the bad part. Mm -hmm. It hit harder. Yeah, blunt with the part of the blunt with all the flavor in it. Mm -hmm. You, you, you want to smoke it like me, though. I used to smoke shit on before fire. I smoked. Oh, right. Your sweatshirt. What? Your sleeve, nigga. Shit flaming. What? Oh, right. No, that shit that coming from the ground. <laughs> nigga high here. So they banned you off of Instagram. You do have Twitter. What's your Twitter? Uh, I'm about to go crazy. And NLE Chopper 1, I think. Or oh, NLE Chopper 1 on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nigga don't even be on that shit. It's one of the motherfuckers. Nah, I think it's NLE Chop. I don't know the name. Hey, man, you see all the white people rapping your song on TikTok? Which one? Shit, all of them. They be going in, You though. got a whole hashtag on that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Regular looking white people. Old ladies and yeah. shit. Up on me, they be saying NLE Chop. Yeah, that's the name of the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Crazy. Folks so, type my shit in a billion times. Uh, yeah, yeah, all the way. Now, on you, are you on TikTok? Yeah, I'll be on there. Oh, okay. TikTok? Oh, yeah, yeah, TikTok. TikTok that shit like go crazy. crazy. That shit, TikTok, TikTok is like crap. I ain't gonna lie, though. TikTok funny is fuck, fool. You get the right little algorithm on your little homepage. Yeah, that page. shit be going that crazy. Shit is crazy. Be on that bitch all day. Oh, yeah. I, I, don't, I ain't even on TikTok, but I watch videos that people post on Instagram yeah, from TikTok. Crazy, my name. Let me tell you something. Do you, know how, do you know how smart you gotta be? to mouth your words, to sync it with some shit, like lip sync it with some shit. Like, they do that all day. They, I try. I can't lip sync. I'm gonna figure I out how to make some shit. That's my the next step. All we gotta I, figure I, out. We gotta get that's my next step. I'm on there. My talk. next step is to figure out how to make them shit. How to make them, right. Because they be so creative. I'm gonna try to memorize the shit. I'm like, all right, then I gotta go see what the fuck this is. I'm like, hold on, let me see what this is. All right, I gotta record this shit. Man, ain't nobody gonna do this shit. This is stupid. My daughter stupid. be putting me on. You know, the jokes be fucking me up when they be having like the, the the little people like doing shit. They had one where motherfucker was throwing javelins, right? Was doing a javelin throw. And at the end of the video, they just had a nigga with a whole bunch of toothpicks getting stuck in his shirt. Oh, yeah, that shit's funny. Shit. <laughs> you talking about the midget? Yeah. Yeah, man, that shit is creative, man. So, you know. If you got a billion on there, then you tapped in with your demographic for sure, for sure. And my sister is 50. I called her, I said, what you doing? She said, I'm doing this TikTok, I'm gonna call you back. I said, don't call me back. <laughs> <laughs> you do you do you do them TikTok. Don't call me back. Who did find that thick ass grandma on there one time though? Okay. Yeah, I seen that one. What's oh, all that what's all that movement back there? What's all that movement back there? There's a Can whole you lot of people on TikTok? <laughs> Yeah, they gotta follow you though. It should be Damn. Crazy. So you can't follow you can't, you just can't nobody? slide like that. So y'all gotta be like mutual friends? Sense. Oh, hey, it's this old white man who be on there all the time, right? The old white the dude. That's what he say. Did you see that booty? Oh, yeah, I see it, cuz. No, I was driving, I was looking at the road. Well, I was looking at that booty. <laughs> oh, anybody man. can make it on TikTok, though, can Yeah, anybody. yeah. But yeah, anybody. Maybe anybody with like three million followers, you be like, damn. Motherfucker in the woods. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker's famous in the woods, yeah. man. And that's what he do. <laughs> Nigga in the woods, man. Like this motherfucking crazy. <laughs> Who watching niggas in the bushes all day? Three million motherfuckers. Three million motherfuckers. Yeah, exactly. Hey, it's some, it's a lot of weird shit going on. Bro, there's man. a lot of weird shit going on. I'm telling you. It's deeper than rap, man. It's a nigga on the bucket right now with eight million followers. For real. I'm TikTok on the bucket. He on the bucket. On the bucket with eight million followers. Nigga, it's a crackhead who be singing on that bitch. He done remade all the songs to dope smoking song. And then he got about five million followers. Damn. That's the crazy part about it. they using them over. I feel like they using them over there. They ain't even getting paid on it. Like, they ain't getting no money over there. Like, hey, white you, folks can't from like, you can't go from TikTok and be like, you seen the white dude from Memphis? The, the white owner, gangster? The, the owner of uh, the, the, the mechanic white shop. Folk. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. White folk. White folk. folk. Oh, he the, he the white gangster from Memphis. He be on there talking shit like a motherfucker. On TikTok? Hell yeah. I gotta, I gotta, my people, I fuck on TikTok be some bullshit. Hey, man, we ain't gonna keep you in this bitch all night, man. We know you got a whole motherfucking project to go promote. No, oh, God. We appreciate you stopping through the trap. Yes, sir. Salute to you, y'all. Hell yeah. Hey, yeah. the way the way the way show. Yes, the Cody Podcast. Host the number one black TV show for black people Come on, that's man. not on TV. Come on, man. Let's get, right, a, let's get this picture right quick. I gotta like y'all, man. I gotta let me know when y'all live. I'm trying to put on my song. Yeah, show. Show. Yeah. Show. Two, three. One, two, three. Babe, we get it.